Hi, I'm Beth Hannah Smith at UR Creative Art Explorium in Crystal River. I wanted to show you a little video today of some classes that I'm offering for Christmas gift giving, both to yourself or to someone else. When I first opened the studio, I was advertising artist trading cards because they're a wonderful way to use a lot of materials such as stenciling, embossing powders, all kinds of other things. Um, that I have here in the studio that you may not have at home, may have never played with and would like to try. I decided though that for Christmas, I wanted to give you something that was a little more functional that would be a really nice gift. And so I came up on the idea of doing these Craftex bracelets. Craftex is a material that it's porous like paper. It kind of feels like leather. It um, can be washed, it can be sewn but it can also be painted on, so it's very durable. So I came up with the idea of these armbands and I found out that we can make them reversible. So they're very different on each side. Here's one that I made. Um, this is one side of it. And this is the other side of it. So what happened was when, when you do the snaps on them, you can pick a snap for each side. So this side, has a black snap that complements what's going on there. This other side has more of a gray snap, which complements what's going on on this side. So basically, when you put them on, they make a really nice little armband. I wanted to show you a little bit today about what goes into these. Um, if you're in here for two hours, for, you could, should be able to make a couple of these. Here are some other examples of ones that I've done and ones that aren't really quite finished. For example, this one is collage, mostly from magazine pictures. Um, and it has some of this really cool tape that you get at the hardware store for drywall. It has crossword puzzles. It has a lot of stuff on it that's collaged. It has some embossing powder. This side I don't really like yet, so it's gonna be repurposed. The thing about this is that each side is its own piece of art, and I'll work on it until I like it. Here's another one that has some examples on it of, this is that tape that was used as a stencil. This is a stencil that I'm using um, spackling on. For these, I'm using the lightweight spackle that comes from Dollar Tree. Um, I like to use joint compound too a lot for uh, because it's more um, substantial. But being these are gonna be worn, I don't want a lot of raised areas. I want it to be comfortable. This is rubber stamping and there's embossing powder on here as well. This is all embossing powder. On the back, you can see more embossing powder. This gold is all embossing powder. This is stenciling through a stencil with spackle. And then the rest of it is just different types of paint. Here's another one that has a lot of stenciling with spackle on it. This other side has some writing on it that's done with embossing powder. It also has some stamping on it and it has some stenciling on it. Here's another one that is mostly stamping, embossing powder, and I use some alcohol inks on this one. It's alcohol inks with alcohol um, to give it that kind of blurry look. Alcohol inks are really a lot of fun to use as well. So I wanted to show you kind of what starts out with um, with these two. So what I do is I take a big piece of kind of this um, paper and I just do a sheet of different mixed media stuff. This side I don't really like yet. I'm going to keep working on it. This side, I'm probably ready to cut into some strips for bracelets. Um, if, if When I cut the strip for the bracelet, I don't really like it, then I will add to it then. This is just the beginning. This is another one that this side has a lot of texture on it, has a lot of stenciling on it. Um, the other thing I like to use on these is a jelly plate. I will do a jelly plate monoprint on them as well, which is something you can also learn to do here in the studio. The other side looks like this. This one looks like it might be kind of fun to cut up and see what it looks like. The other side isn't done yet, but it's kind of like that. 
This one, I like this side. It looks like one of those camouflage that you see, kind of camouflage for girls. This one is also got a lot of texture on the back. It's got stenciling and embossing powder. So you can see each side is gonna be very different. Then what happens is after I get these done, I decide what color I want the snap to be. So for this one, I decided on a blue snap because it really complemented the colors that were in the bracelet. However, for the other side, I decided on a red snap because I like the way it picked up the colors that are on the bracelet on this side. And so when you look at these, you see a red, you see two color snaps on them, but it's because this is the one that's gonna be on top. So you can tell that they're color coordinated. So I'd like to invite you to come to a class where you can learn to use all of these materials. Embossing powders, spackle, stencils, jelly plate, paint. And then I have a lot of colors of snaps for you to choose from to complement your bracelet. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and that you would like to make one of your own. Join me. Thank you.